Earth magnetic shield from radiation discovered to have had extreme flipping period, Sputnik News reports. North and South have swapped places numerous times in the turbulent past of our planet, as we know. They found this from the rocks when they have exploded out of a volcano. They have a certain magnetism, and that's what they look at. That's how they know that the poles have shifted or flipped or swapped places or changed position because of those rocks, the magnetism of the rocks. Now, while researchers are debating if new changes are coming from Earth's magnetic field, believed to protect us from space radiation, the discovery in Siberia has shed a light on the various times that this geomagnetic cover seemingly went nuts. 500 million years ago, during the Dromian stage of Middle Cambrian, Earth could have, uh, have, could have one of the craziest moments in its geomagnetic history, as north and south poles flip-flopped nearly 80 times over a 3 million year period. 80 times! The study by geologists from Russian Academy of Science and the Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris in France, published in Earth and Planetary Science Letter, suggests The scientific team studied the tiny particles of magnetite and hematite from crumbling cliffs of the Kurbu-Suomka River region in Siberia. It was formed half a billion years ago when the area was underwater. As these magnetized crumbs were locked in the sediments, they work like tiny compasses frozen in time. But around the middle upper Cambrian boundary, the intensity of magnetic poles swapped places dramatically, decreasing to just 1.5 flips per million years for reasons yet unknown, so the researchers concluded that there must have been a hyperactive reversing mode of the geodynamo generating the field. As Science Alert points out, the abrupt ending of such turbulent times as well as the understanding and frequency varied over different periods might have been caused by an extreme process deep inside our Earth. While researchers can only theorize what's going on inside our planet, blocks of millions of years without significant changes are thought to be caused by the decrease in the heat exchange between the core and the mantle. The times of relative serenity are believed to be changed by periods of intensive reversing, like the one around 550 million years ago when the flip field flip-flopped 24 times every million years. The end of this turbulent period was marked by the extinction catastrophe named the Kotlianian Crisis, which prompted some scientists to conclude that there is a link between the geological unrest and the drastic ecological changes. The debates around what our geological future holds for us have been a hot topic as scientists are trying to calculate when the magnetic field will flip next time, and how it will happen. The last time the poles swapped places was about 780,000 years ago, while the complete reversal is said to have taken place every few hundred million millennia over the past 20 million years. Even though the imminent reversal is not expected, the question of what drifted, drifting poles might cause is still open with risks including its influence on all sorts of devices and high dose of radiation. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.